And we're back in the game with some more Medieval 2 Total War Zardom's mod, playing as the Ottomans. Now, I think we're still in our war with the Bulgarians, but we've actually had some setbacks on the battlefield, and the Bulgarians have proven to be quite tough. Uh, of course, we are playing on very hard, very hard. But they've proven tougher than the other factions that we fought. We fought the Romans, and they didn't prove as tough. And we fought the Caramans, and they didn't prove as tough. And the rebels haven't proven that tough either. So, we're going to try and break the siege, aren't we? Because uh, we've got some Romans here. At uh, Raidestos. And, apparently, there's actually a new version of this mod out. Uh, it kind of went under the radar. Uh, didn't really get any news on the Total War Center. Apparently, it's been out since September of last year. Uh, so, it's not save game compatible, unfortunately. And we do have this campaign and the uh, Kingdom of Naples campaign ongoing. So, we're going to have to finish up both of those before we try out the new version. Right. Let's get in there and fight those Romans. Those guys look like they're having a not very pleasant day. Right, start deployment, activate the Skynet. So we've got our rocket launcher. Uh, let's leave that off and fire at will just for a second. You know what? Let's put those back, but get their stakes down. I believe you have more ammunition uh, than the rocket launcher. So I don't mind you being on fire at will. We've got missile troops out here. Missile cav. And we've got some light cav. Yep, those are all light lancers. Actually, got four of those. I should have taken another look to see what was in the Roman army. No, I didn't. And I can't remember from the last episode what they had. We only have a very small unit of archers. Well, Almost full art unit, but it's only one. Normally we have a lot more archers in our armies. Oh, they're definitely in range. I thought I had you off. <laughs> I swear I had them off of uh, fire at will. But they are on. Uh, let's put them onto aggressive. They are being shot at. Let's get that cavalry out there to chase them. We might tempt them forward. All of our reinforcements... No, nope, they're actually coming in ahead of them, aren't they? Or behind, I should say. They're ahead of us. Well, it looks like we're getting some good shots in. Let's get you out there. Get these units moving. Right, the missile cav. Let's get them up here. Yeah. I think we've tempted them forward again. Right, those are German knights. Ooh, let's um, let's slow it all down, and then have a close-up of them. Hopefully, that doesn't spoil your entertainment. But I don't think we've seen those in combat before, have we? Those are German knights. I'm going to take a screenshot of them. It's a nice looking unit. Well, I've said that about pretty much all of the units in the game. Now back up to regular speed. Are they going to charge in? They look like they're going to charge in. They're going to charge into my light cavalry. Fair enough. 
Uh, we've got some light cavalry coming in. Right, these ones are already firing. Yes, that's their general there. Where's our other reinforcement army? Reinforcements, it says both of those should be coming in. Oh, we've got some nice range. We did get hit out here by the Frankish Knights. Who do we have to counter them? We don't really have any spear units, do we? Which is what we'd kind of want. That's our unit running into the blasted stakes. Get back. Get back. Yeah, now you can go on skirmish, but... They actually got quite a bit of ammunition. It doesn't appear that we've really fired much. That one unit that we had with stakes and our cavalry has to chase into it. Uh, you're supposed to be on skirmish, but you appear to have gone literally caught by every unit that they sent against us. So that's a bit disappointing. Yep, camera shake from the artillery. Ooh, those are right in front, but we do have canister shot that we could use. Alright, how do they keep getting into my blasted units? Apparently, now all of these are freed up. Latin handgunners. Uh, those are heavy infantry, I don't really want to charge them, but you know, if we have to, we have to. Even my general seems to be taking quite a few casualties there. Alright, fire on them, or on them. Fire on somebody. You're out of ammunition. I'm actually taking a lot more casualties than I was expecting to. They were very aggressive. We're losing our reinforcements back here. Right, that's our general there. Light cavalry, light cavalry, who's running away? All right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, hopefully he wasn't anyone too important. Still, quite a few of them to kill off. Right, hold your position. Apparently, you're out of range. Although, oh, we'll get a shot against them. We still want to kill off this unit. Right, here comes some more reinforcements right on top of them. Javelins, yeah. Just guard mode. Hopefully they'll do some damage there. Well, apparently they had a lot of cavalry. Well, maybe we could get a man of the hour event. Aren't you throwing your javelins? Right, they're trying to get away from you. I mean, we're going to get the win, but it's a lot more casualties than I thought we should have taken. Oh, 
Who's that unit? No, it's only ten of them. There's not that many units left. All right, get back onto your regular ammunition. Oh, they still have a lot of troops out here. Missile cap is probably best against them. And the artillery. Come on, get rid of them. Right, it says, no, oh, that's the unit there. Let's get those missile units all firing up here. And they will go down eventually. And where's their general? Back up here. It's our ally going after them. Still got 19 men in his unit. It's quite a lot. the infantry. No, we could leave him back there. You need to get up there and actually kill him. Get those javelins in. There he is. Come on. More javelins. That's what you need to do. Well within our grasp. In time our foe will surely see this and lose heart. That one's pretty much finished off. Let's get those missile units working on this one. That's probably the largest unit left. The enemy general fleet. Ah, finally. Alright. Scour them from the field. Actually you're basically out of ammunition, aren't you? You are. You're almost out of ammunition. So if you charging in there. Right. Where's the enemy general? Did we we haven't killed him? He's gonna get away. He's gonna get away. Blast him. Blast his eyes, as the saying goes. Right, we only got 72 prisoners. We saved Raidestos, but we took a lot of casualties. And we lost a general doing it. Yeah, they were aggressive and they had a lot of good cavalry in there. Uh, to back up their aggression. Victories are like sweet nectar. Come okay. Let us drink of the most rare and glorious fruit. Well, we got five percent replenishment. Nope, you're getting executed. Well, that's a shame, but, you know, that's what happens in war. Uh, we are actually currently recruiting a new one, new general. We can do that. Merge up whoever we can.
Right, that's empty, isn't it? Now we took the troops out from there. Right, you can get in there. That's free upkeep for you. Free upkeep for you. Right, do we have an extra general? Unfortunately, I don't think we do. Hmm. Right. Who else that pulls from you and you? Let's take those out. That's at full strength. I remember that. Oh, they've got a spy around there. Right. We can get some new units. Oh, we can get pretty much all of our artillery at the moment. Where are the diplomats? Okay, you're basically spying. You're not doing anything important. You'll be moving. You've done your mission. You've done a mission. You've done a mission. So have you. I think they've all done their missions, haven't they? I live to obey, Sultan. Yep. My army. Oh, you can get in somewhere. Well, you don't have a particularly good chance there. Those are just boards. Um, go and spy on him. Even that's not particularly good. Chance. Right, more German knights and Catalan knights and uh, Bolyars. Uh, they've got a lot of heavy cav, don't they? Of cav in general. Right, there's nobody around there. And you're in that settlement. Yeah, the Bulgaria is going to prove to be a little tougher. We also discovered that they have. This sediment that I didn't know about. Bulgarian fleet. It's only one ship. Tartars. We're not allied to them. Uh, I don't know how strong that ship is. We might need more warships. Uh, we can take some from up here, I think. Let's see if we can reach them. Right. I think we can sail up through the Danube. Probably blockade them up there at some point. Alright, we're going to turn a good profit. Ah, you know what? Um, that's only balanced. I mean, if we take this, that gives us the opportunity of going after Constantinople uh, because we've built up a lot of forces around there now, and also I think the settlement of Philadelphia in Anatolia because that's also another Roman uh, settlement uh, it could be worth it will they give me map info? apparently they will they probably won't give me any money because they're rather poor everybody's poor in this mod no matter what you must think as an equal. You uh, something more reasonable now? All right, fine. Then the war will carry on. Doesn't bother me. Oh, they're gonna.
try and break the siege here. Now, 15, 1600, we outnumber them. And we've got a better army this time. It's three, five units that can put down stakes, negating some of their cavalry. Yeah, because they've got a lot of cavalry in here. Black horsemen, uh, more boljars and uh, pronoise. Yeah, we've got the artillery. All right, we're going to make this episode a bit longer uh, because it's a chance to capture this city. I believe that's uh, Varna, isn't it? And in fact, this uh, city actually appears in a number of uh, Dracula, Dracula movies. Uh, quite often it shows Dracula's coffin being transported through the Black Sea port of Varna. Not every Dracula movie, but quite a few of them. So uh, that's one of the reasons I knew where Varna was. From watching Dracula movies. Imagine that. Skynet shall be activated. All right. Do we have a good line of sight with the artillery? Oh, that's the Grand Bombard. It's only two uh, models. Right. Missile Cav 3. We can occupy that space there. We've got one unit that can't put down stakes, but so be it. And then we've got two generals, so we can afford to throw one away. Oh no, it might be, might be a, a faction here, because I know where our faction leader is. He's out in Anatolia. No. They are attacking us, or attacking me, I should say. Our foe brings more men to the battle. That's fine. Let's see the uh, Grand Bombard firing. Uh, then we're going to lose line of sight on them pretty quickly, though, aren't we? Go on, fire. They are very slow to load. Of course, that's fairly historically accurate. I'd expected most armies uh, they would train them to come as quick as possible. The Ottomans were quite proficient with their artillery. We've got a nice bit of high ground there. Um, we are killing them off, but it's their second army that has most of the cavalry, right? And they've gone into hiding. But we'll get rid of most of these. Looks like they've had enough of being shot at. They don't seem to be firing much with the artillery. It either has too slow a reload or has too much ammunition. Are they going to make that suicidal charge in? Ah, they're going straight in for the peasant archers. So there were no stakes there. That's smart of them. Get out. Yeah, they even managed to get into the flank of that unit. Get away from there. Uh, blow your horn. Rally the troops. Get back there. I think that was the one that we were firing on. Well, we've got to kill the rest of their army. I guess we only have a solid shot to fire in any case, don't we? You're trying to avoid them as well. Let's get you behind those axemen. There's only 13 of them left. Come on, run behind them. 
We've got those eggs one in there. This one could bring back on skirmish. Okay, can we start hitting these units? I mean, we've got a grand bombard. Nope, we don't have the range. What's the range? It's very close, though. They're almost within range. There. What about you? Nope, because you're at the other end of the line. Those ones are shaken, but not stirred. Also, I haven't used much ammunition from uh, these archers, horse archers, have we? Bulgarian infantry. I don't think they have much in the way of armor, but they seem to be holding out quite well. I'm not taking that many casualties, considering the number of units who are firing at them. All right, we've now got more enemy units coming in at us. Uh, they're going to be shooting up our infantry line. Right. Mercenary crossbows, they look like they want to get pretty darn close to us, don't they? I think you're sitting right on top of the artillery. Get away from there. Okay, let's see about shooting up some of the heavy cavalry. Now some of those are bound to go into the stakes unless they all charge right through that gap. Actually this one looks like it might be. Come on, uh, divert and go through those stakes. We're going to have to start sending some of our generals up here to cover this flank. Yeah, those are heavy cav coming in. And they are going to decimate those archers. Now get off of uh, skirmish mode. All right, send you in against the Hungarian mercenaries. I think they've been very successful about bypassing the um, stakes, and it looked like they managed to get into our missile cab, didn't they, as well? which are, of course, supposed to be on skirmish mode. Stop your running. We didn't do much damage to that unit, did we? we still got lots of ammunition. On our artillery. Alright, here comes the enemy general. Alright, let's commit that infantry. All of our infantry appears to be fighting. He was supposed to run away. And not get caught. The enemy general flees like an old melee. Attack and break the will of his men. Who are we firing at? Fire on them. Got to start freeing up some units, I think. I'm not doing much damage to these units, and our general's bodyguard are pretty tough. Right, you've got a unit coming in at you. You should have more than enough infantry to get the job done. Come on, keep pushing. The enemy are 
Good. No, I want them to lose all of them. We've captured ten of them so far. That's uh, rather underwhelming. Come on, try to just push your way through and get into them. Right, so there's a unit that's freed up. Come over here and help out. Let's put... No, oh, they can't go on flaming arrows, can they? Regular arrows only. Actually, the enemy does have quite a few infantry still around. Hmm. They're wearing down our general's bodyguard. Right, we have killed off a unit, haven't we? Good. About time. Only half our force remains. Yep, we have lost a lot of men. We're losing a lot of infantry now as well. Uh, they're routing. Right, archers, get away from there. You've rallied, that's good. We had several units break all at once there. Our enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. Kill those goats. No, don't drive them away. Kill them. Kill them so they don't get away. Actually got into pretty much all of our artillery there. Who's holding out over here? Get back there. Archers, come and support these units. All of you are supposed to be on. Melee or skirmish. And they really want to go after my artillery, don't they? Who's that sneaking around? One unit. Come on, finish off those routing units. No, nope, they caught up. Mm. Well, technically it said they caught up to them. That's your equipment. Back on there. Where are the uh, mortars? Weren't they somewhere around here? We can't see them. Yeah, they, there they are, because they're in front of these stakes. What do we have fighting out here? German spears. Where's that one cavalry unit right there? Start firing. Ah, we ran into the general's bodyguard. Did you run into the stakes? You did, didn't you? Get away. Right, we're going to need some support for you. Mm -hmm. 
might lose that general. Right. Divert you back. Let's have you finish off them. Have you come over towards the general? Alright. Try not to have our general rush over the stake. He's down to seven. Where is our general? There. Let's get the rest of those infantry in there. Well, that was a tough battle. As I said, the uh, Bulgarians have proven well within our grasp. quite tough. Time, our foe will surely see this and lose her. Well, we stopped him. Stopped him in his tracks. Maybe have you stop firing now. You can stop firing. It's not ready. Many left apart from that unit. Allah, you have left our enemy lost. They run like children. Right. Throw them from the field. Hold your position. Did we get him? He's down. He's gone. Right. Well, you just hold your position. You can go back onto pirate will. So can you. And then we'll just. Vertical, that's actually two units there. Just speed it all up. Who did we kill? Uh, Aldemir, Turta. No, you have trouble killing off just those guys. Go on, charge them down. Great victories are like sweet Ooh, that was a long battle. 68% casualties. We should be able to capture Varna now. We've only got a thousand men left though. But if we can get rid of their settlements, that reduces their recruitment capability. And I think we'll take some more territory from them. Uh, he's not worth too much. In fact, most of that is coming from him. And, uh, what's it going to be worth? 5,800. We're going to bang some heads. Ah, oh, no, it wasn't Varna. It's Nessabar. Uh, the Austrians have Varna. Good. They will prevent Count Dracula escaping into the Black Sea. Count Dracula is real. Uh, based upon the historical figure of, of Vlad the Impaler, I believe. He most likely gave his opponents the pointy end of the stick. I wonder if he's a historical character in this mod. I'm sure it covers the time period of uh, Vlad the Impaler. I wonder if you play as uh, Balakia. Or. Oh no, he might appear in Hungarian territory. Well, nope, he's almost certainly got to be in Balakian territory. 
Well, we'll have to see. At some point, we will play as Valakia. No. No, because you don't have any loyalty. Right, we have a guild. And there's a saint. We have a new saint. I have no idea how many saints there are. But there's got to be a lot of saints. That's quite a bit to read. I'm going to have to read that myself at some point. Another historical character. Okay, Diff stalks the land. Oh no, Crown Prince Ali has been affected in here. But it looks like it's ended already. So that's good. Is there anything that we have to destroy? No, it doesn't look like it. We'll get that one in right away. Uh, mercenary crossbows, Tartar horse archers. Religious unrest. Yep, we'll have to fix that up. those retrained. Alright, let's come up there and see if there's any other settlements around here. That's uh, Balakian territory it looks like. Why can we not get in there? I thought the, I thought that whole river was navigable. Why can we not pass through there? Okay, if you say so, but you can, I'm certain you can recruit ships there. Why are we blocked? Well, we'll leave them there. That means no Bulgarians will be able to escape through the Danube. Ah, what a surprise. Let's show up all. I'm just hoping that the Serbians don't attack us. When you come around here, is that Bulgarian? It is, there's a Bulgarian port up there. I wonder if it's worth sending someone to occupy it. Long live the warrior of Islam. Indeed. Alright. Can you get through there? Yes, you can. Okay. Let's go and sabotage something. Ah, oh, we got that port right there. Good. Well, maybe I shouldn't have destroyed that building because we can now. Well, we can now attack them. <laughs> uh, Sepina. No, it's only 267, but that balance the power. Obviously now they can't repair that building. No, uh, that was the one, wasn't it? Well, it's a large settlement, so if we capture it, we'll make enough money to repair it. But uh, that wasn't very good thinking on my part, was it? One up there. Aha, uh -huh, we've bumped into more enemy forces. And there's a general there, and apparently there's one good chance of killing. And we got him. Alright, recruitment. We did get the extra general at Bursa. This episode is becoming quite long. Uh, let me move some units around quickly. Alright, you failed. Get in there. Where do we need imams? We need an imam up there. Right, you head up there, you head over there, and you're in there, what's your chance? 19. We need a better imam, that's for certain. Right. You've got enough loyalty, nine more turns. 
myself and will. That's How probably a reason I got you. We will engage them on you can get some experience, I think. Your faith and courage have triumphed. Let's get this taken care of. Any problems back here? Not much. Although they're not that happy. We've got a new wall built there. A silk caravan or the horse mill population growth. More people to tax. Kangaroo, good. Uh, because we want to go after that rebel settlement. Probably get that one now. Just going to merge those. Now we've got more blasted rebels popping up. Let's get the uh, bowyer. And that's going to be it for this episode. It's quite a long episode, but uh, we got the battle there and we won. And we're going to try and capture this manually, I guess, at the start of the next episode. Um, so, yeah. We're going to take uh, Carbuna. It is Carbuna, right? Yep. And then go up to Drastar, make those Bulgarians sue for peace. Probably throw a unit into that fort because it's covering uh, that river crossing. Might as well. Get a couple of units in there. You could grab that fort. I want to keep on playing, but <laughs> I need to end it.